Hey all, my name is Chupacabra, and today we're going to go over the play-by-play -play preview of The Twin Bridges. I'll be going over the NASCAR track facts, along with all the share codes associated with the event. I've got one more play-by-play -play video to do before I release the next set of tracks, so please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thank you everybody for your support. Alright, let's jump right into the track facts. The name of this track is The Twin Bridges, and the reason why we named it The Twin Bridges was because a focal point of the track were the two bridges outside of Malig. After I built the track, I kind of realized that really wasn't the focal point, but we'll get more into that when we actually play the video. This track has three share codes associated with it, and after the NAFCAR track facts, we'll circle around and discuss these share codes. The track style is a circuit race, which means laps are made around a circuit, and today we'll be doing six of them. Six laps is the official NAFCAR scheduled distance for this race. The track motif is paved road, so 100% of this track will be raced on paved road. The starting location is the Arch of Malig, and the track length is 2.8 miles. The total racing distance will be 16.8 miles, or 6 laps. Tire wear is rated a 3 out of 6, which means by the end of the race, you should have used anywhere between 50 and 70% of your tires. This track doesn't really have a lot of high speed, so the tire wear isn't really noticeable for the amount that you actually use. Damage wear is rated a 1 out of 5, so you should accrue no natural damage throughout the course of this event. AI bots come in out of 5 out of 5, which means they handle this track pretty perfect. This track should take you about 10 minutes 30 seconds to complete all 6 laps. Finally, with all these things in consideration, we give the track a difficulty rating, and it comes in at a 2 out of 5, which means it should be easy for even the most unexperienced Forza Horizon 5 drivers. Alrighty, let's jump right into the share codes. For this track, it doesn't matter whether you're playing with damage on or off. What matters is if you're using an S1 retro muscle car, or you're using any other car class or car type. If you're using an S1 Retro Muscle, go ahead and use that share code with the brackets. This is the official NAFCAR race we use during the NAFCAR season. If you're using any other car class or car type, go ahead and use the other two share codes. The share codes and stars is the full length feature, which means you'll be doing all six laps. If you're looking for a shorter experience, go ahead and use that share code and pound sign. This is our two lap sampler. Alrighty everybody, let's jump right into the play by play. Alrighty, so as I said, this track is 2.8 miles, and we're going to do 6 laps. So you should look at about a minute, 45 seconds a lap. Uh, this track is pretty cool. Um, the, the theme of this track is short straights and S-curves, and you'll see what I mean by that here shortly. Alrighty, and here we go. This is an, an incredibly fast track. You'll top out at about 160 miles per hour in a retro muscle car, and really only for this section of the track. That's the high speed section there. I'm gonna try to get around some of these bots. Now here's our first S turn. As you can see, S turns are kind of squiggles in the road. Your best path through there is really right down the middle. I kind of have two philosophies. Either go right down the middle or Pretend that you're a skier and actually physically hit both checkpoints. You know, like a downhill skier hits the red flag, blue flag, back to the red flag, just like that. Nice turn here. I'm gonna try to get around some of these bots. Here we go. Coming up on another S turn. So this is our second S turn. Hit another short straight. Big wide turn. Kind of bouncing off some cars here. Always hug the middle. This track. You, the best way around is by hugging that bottom turn. Alrighty, here we go. Coming up on some more S turns. I think this should be number three now. And then another short straight. Um, so, this is the first bridge. When I originally built this track, the whole idea was pretty simple. Don't fall off the bridge. And then it kind of evolved into this kind of short straight S-turn type style track. And we just saw one there. Here's the second bridge. Uh, once again, try not to fall off. Hard turn. Kind of getting bumped around by the bots a little bit. And then here we go on the front straightaway. 
and this is basically as fast as you can go. Um, this is the only part of the track where you'll actually top out at max speed, about 165. Um, you noticed I kind of took some damage there, and I kind of left it in this video for a reason, right? As I said, damage is rated at a 1 out of 5, which means you should accrue no natural damage throughout the course of the event. As you can see, I didn't accrue natural damage. The road did not cause me to do that. That was my own driving mistake, running into a car breaking at a part where, you know, it makes sense to break. So I was a little late on the break there. Come through, is that S turn again? And then a short straight. This track, like I said, is all about S turns and short straights. It's very important to have a car that you can point the nose wherever you want. That's going to be your best way around. So, going around this corner, I'm going to point the nose towards the bottom of that turn. And I'm going to point the nose towards the bottom of this turn. And then I'm finally going to turn the nose to the bottom of this turn. Perfect. Now, as you can see, we're only about a lap and a half in now. Um, and my tire wear is already at about 20%. Tire wear comes in at a 3 out of 6, which means you should use basically moderate tire wear throughout the course of this event. Now, interestingly, um, the last few tire events, we've had to deal with high speed. And high speed in worn tires is completely different than being sub 130 miles per hour and having that same amount of wear on. Here we go, as fast as you can through here. Every once in a while, you can stick that corner and you can actually make that turn about 150 miles per hour. Um, but it doesn't happen all the time. Even as many times as I've done it, I can usually only replicate that once or twice a race. And I think that's associated with how worn out your tires are. There's a sweet spot kind of in the middle between like, I don't know, like 40% or so, where you can take that turn at full speed. But much after that, um, you're not gonna be able to stick the car. And kind of before that too, right? You notice I kind of had trouble doing that and my wheels were sub 40. Make some more turns here. About 116, 115 miles per hour. Then we're gonna slow straight down. It's a hard left hand turn. About 45 miles per hour. As you can see, I'm kind of like feathering the throttle a little bit, just trying to keep it going. Try not to fall off the bridge. And then another hard left hander. Kind of sticking around this low speed. Another S turn. I'm gonna hit that flag. Another hard left hand turn. A lot of these hard left hand turns. Um, this track is more kind of in line with your typical Forza Horizon 5 track length. Here we go, back to the front straight away. Fast as you can. 164, slow it down, slow it way down. I got off the road a little bit. Hit that turn. Hard turn, hard break, hard break. I kind of washed up a little bit. And you know, like I said, you know, your tires are a little worn at this point. So you can expect not to, you know, if you drive in a little hard, you're not going to stick like you would if you only, in the very beginning of the race, when you only had like 3 or 4% of your tires. Here we go, back through the other S curve. And then that wide turn. a little bit. I'll hug this turn here. Go down just a little bit. You see the heat in my front tires. A lot higher than the heat in my back tires. So that's why my front tires are wearing out a lot faster than my back ones. The short straight. About 135. Hard turning to about 50. Another short straight, short straight and S shoots. Now usually in an AF car race, you know, as I said, kind of going back to the tires, you know, you get around 50% tires, it's really hard to control the car. 
This track, it's really not that bad. Here we go, as fast as you can. I think one of these laps, I'm actually going to almost miss the checkpoint. Yep, coming up right here. Barely let me have it. All about being able to point your nose. I didn't point my nose in the direction I really wanted to go. And because of it, it shot my car into the dirt and basically gave me no time to correct that steering. Pretty wide turn there. It's important to take these turns with caution, you know? Honestly, turning is what's going to make you win this race. Your ability to handle the S-curves. You know, anybody can build a car for, like, short straights. That's fine. But there's a lot of turning and a lot of feather throttling, and that's how you're really going to win. And I'm just hanging in there. Hard left-hand turn. My uh, wheels are kind of locked up the brakes a little bit, a little squealy in the back tires. Um, I find that sometimes when you're going through there, especially with worn tires, if you kind of jump up on that small curving, it'll actually help guide your car a little bit. There we go. Another hard left-hand turn. We should be coming up on, I think, the final lap here. As you can see, like I keep saying, it's fun to say, you know, short straights and S terms. Alright, I set up to get a good final lap. You see my uh, tire wears orange. Um, like I said, because of not the high speed, not really a huge deal. Hug that bottom. That's definitely going to be the best way around that turn. Break. About 100 miles per hour going through there. Yeah, now all my tires are sub 50%. Turning's gonna get a little, little difficult. A little difficult coming through here. You know, the, the tire wear does affect your car a little bit, you know, even though you are that slow speed. It's just not as much as if you were going, you know, 200, 220 miles per hour. Got a feather coming through here. Right, right down the bridge. About 130. Left hand turn. Hit the checkpoint. Alrighty, well, we're uh, coming to the end of this play-by-play. -play. Final left-hand turn. Oh, I'm going to go in a little hot. And the final front straightaway. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys for sticking around for this play-by-play. -play. Uh, I really appreciate the time. And my next video will be uh, California 1. And it will be the final play-by-play -play video before we release the next style tracks. Thank you everybody for their support and have a great evening, night, morning, day.